Alive. What's going on, man? Yo, this is Pink 7-Eleven, Pox on 80, from the 7-Letter MTA on J4F. I'm here cause, um, to expose that the God will rise. I gave it to him. That's why Drake exposed it in the song War. OBO 60s, because I'm from OBO. They call me Scorpion Thumb. I have a scar on my thumb. These things ain't random. I also hooked them up with a deal with shoes where they cost three Gs a pop on God Will Rise, Off-White, and the Marathon. So this is you right here? This hood right here, God Will Rise, yes. Saver gave it to me on the phone call, but I was the main one putting in work from 60s to Pico Union, to Mercado Park, to Hollywood. So what does that mean, God Will Rise? It means, um, I got the, sh uh, it means I will rise on 80 proof. And it's not an experiment what I've been through. The girls that I've laid with that are angels, the famous crew of the shop in Fairfax called Angels Will Rise. Mm -hmm. It's real. It's not an experiment. It's not fake. And um, the rapture on ripping it will, will happen on 80 proof, which I'm cooking it up slow, but at least I will have Nipsey's revenge when Jesus comes back on Forever 21, Chocolate John, John quarter from the Bible. You've had sex with angels? Yeah, that's why I'm the main head of A-Double-R. Also, uh, I produced that song, Angel the God, um, the life, where he's saying, why are you saying they're fake? Or he's saying, let me live, let me live, let me live. It came out on NBA 2K19, the soundtrack. Definitely. So you said the rapture's coming. When is it coming? It's coming soon on 80 Proof. Uh, it's on Plan B that he hit on beef that popped that song with Drake. Yeah. Where he's trying to make my angels cheat when he says we don't give a fuck about Plan B, remember? Yeah. I'm from Plan B OBO, it's the opposite, where I'm gonna make her loyal. And when she says, you know what, like ASAP Mafia says, we're testing him, yeah. when they say he passes tests, there it is. The Rapture will come back, Nipsey will come back, reincarnated, Mac Miller, Tupac, and you will know that I am Scorpion Thumb. So Drake named his album after you? Scorpion, yeah, but right now we're going through some tur turbulence where he's, he's turning. He's from a different OBO. He's from TS, yeah. Toronto Sound. Yeah. I'm from TSL, the seventh letter. Uh -huh. That's Man. definitely. So how would you describe yourself in three words? Um, loyal, royal, and God will rise. Isn't that five words? Oh. Um, you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> how would you describe uh, Nipsey Hussle in three words? Uh, loyal, talented, and royal. The day that Nancy Hustle passed away, I was across the street. And um, I actually, when my character Kato from the song How Long Will You Mourn Me by Tupac, because I got it from my girl that I, I can't say where she lives, but her name was Katie. So I was like, fuck it, I'm Kato. Mm -hmm. So Kato got Tupac killed because he thought that she, was, she wasn't she was loyal or, or real, but he got smoked. He even said it was because of me, Kato. And then um, I came here and they got him because of God will rise. Because the Antichrist don't want, don't want me and him to meet because he was going to hook me up because he's from my hood. God will rise. Who is the Antichrist? Well, at that moment it was Kevin Holder. He was the Antichrist. And um, I was across the street. Also, the hood, they call themselves TMC. Uh -huh. He's from TMC. But those are black people killer, the other TNC. Uh -huh. But low key, me and J4S, we already took out the main head of the magicians. ROE, fake death row, death ROE. Fake death row, like Tupac predicted, fake Pac style. Take a tell you to your face, you ain't shit but a faker. You think Tupac's still alive? Um, I actually, in my sleep, Jesus allowed me to go talk to him. You talk to Tupac in your sleep? Um, yeah, in the Bible it says that Jesus protects those dreams that are from the Pharaoh. And Chanel West Coast named me the Pharaoh in a, in a shout out. And I got the snap, uh, I took a picture of it. And then she says that I was working at Crackers Club and I did. And right now I'm trying to finish 80 proof. Right now I just got 40 bars, I need 40 more. Ain't nothing but a D12 party on recovery and invasion. Gucci gang invasion on God will rise. I am Angelo on eight miles. Copy thunk it thumb. Rip a thick. 
Nobody gets ill at the beat of the top recovery. I'm trying to be crowned the savior on up in flames. G unit giving me a shout out and hunger for more too. On Clinton beef with Tupac, and I live with Clinton. On Ken Kniff, on the Eminem show saying I live in Eastwood, Hollywood, which I do. On Gucci gang motherfucking evasion on 80 proof. Um, on the 40 bars, it's 9 West, West Side, 9 years after my Pink Friday reincarnation surgery, surviving the up in flames. On T Mac for Mac Miller, dying so I could revive him. On T Mac Miller, T Mac Mac Miller month. On 15, motherfucking bad baby. 3Vs, 3C, Big Sur Death Row on 16th. Shardy wanna be a thug, 69 getting my dad's name Oscar Tate, cause we used to be family. But he betrayed me, but Shadi didn't. Cause he wants to be free, but Shadi um is guilty and he even admits it. So he wants to do time and and you not know, be forgiven. So this, it, this is ripping dead. 80 abducted, Jesus coming soon, on Plan B, Teddy Hanno, on My Angel Stay Loyal to Me, Not to Drake, on Pop That, TSL, OBO, 40 click, and Fuck Toronto Sounds Drake, nigga, they'll never cheat on me for you. And, and plus, I got the Fuse Television, Rosary Sunlight Deal, which means this is not a reflection. So it means I'm a real Sunny Blondie on Off-White Recovery, D12 Recovery. It's Kevin Heart Attack Xandex on Eminem's new song, Little Nicky, where he shout me out and calls Nick Cannon Little Nicky because I'm big undefeated five like KG. I want to ask you something. Uh, What's the craziest thing you've ever seen? Well, uh, that I can't say, but the, um, probably was Jesus admitting it that um, in a previous life, I was Pink Dad, Jesus Dad, and from Barrio Fino King Dad, and also Kato, where Tupac gives me a shout out. Song goes to Kato, and for all your kids. On the song How Long When You're Mormon, on Fat Kit Kat, Detail Recovery, Eddie Proof RP, and um, Juicy World tried to take my heart away. Or when they were the Latino community and black people were trying to punk white people, Ariana Grande and Miley Cyrus to fuck with pigs because I'm all about that Pink Friday life. And they don't differentiate anything. They got psychological issues. They in Versace. So then I had to, um, in the song, intimidate Juicy World. And the song that backs me up is called Off With His Head by Terror Squad and Big Pun, where he says, as a ghost, I took his heart out. But I mean, that's debatable. But I hit him up on Double Miley on Seven Rings, December. So, off with his head. You know, we ain't backing down. And low key, it's not an experiment. Everything I say is real. On Bombed Him, SKM. Um, that's the new, that's my deal with Showtime, America Dream. And is it true? Or American Nightmare? He a fucking liar keeping my hopes up. But believe me, on Snoop and the Dream, it's real, Martin Luther King. Definitely. Now, as you may know, if you've been, you, you watch the news? Yeah, I watch the news. So you know about World War III, right? I haven't seen them. Yeah, you do. What's up with it? So basically, President Trump did a, a bomb strike on Iran. And Iran's one of our main enemies. So people are talking about maybe in a couple months, there's going to be a World War III. What are your thoughts on that? And the Bible says when World War III happens, Jesus will come back. And um, I'm the Moses chosen one, Shady45. Victory Jordan 45. Yeah. So all I gotta prove is that the Bible came before World War One because three World Wars are predicted in Shady's Chosen One Detail Recovery, Moses Chosen One. You talking about like an Eminem album? Uh, um Loki, uh, he got into seven letters too. He he started throwing it up, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna make one. Because all I gotta do is prove that the Bible existed before World War One. And Loki it did, and it was called King James Bible. Yeah. That's why that's the seventh day theory, LJ. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So do you feel like maybe Shady Records might have predicted World War Three? Oh, seven letters, Shady Records, G Unit, SKM, Death Row, J4F, MTA, 
And the merch on Clony Store, God Will Rise, because that's my hood. I started it on Suge and that's Cam. So if you get a letter in the mail that says you've been drafted and you have to go to Iran to fight for your country, are you going to do it? I mean, I know Trump. He got in the Seventh Day Mafia. He even threw it up with Prince Harry, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to go. Trump's down for Seventh Letter? Yeah, he's the one um, that uh, they threw a meeting and then um, with Kardashians and then um, DPG, KKK Crips. They put the green light on me and Kanye West. Does Trump write graffiti? Of course not, because ours is just a movement. Once we become more professionals, it's just going to be music, lyrics, artwork, and all that. So do you fuck with Trump? Here and there, but I don't support everything. But I support some, like the beef between Dash, Dash and Daz, where um, I got so far. I got Snoop. I got Warren G went missing, and that nigga Daz bought down in a video saying they call it is because I'm Versace, and I got Suge. Right now, people think Suge is locked up, but I got Suge for uh, the Kardashians deal. And Kanye and Jesus exists, and Jesus will return and obey on 80 proof. Seems like you've been talking to everybody, man. I mean, everybody knows me. I'm a legend. I'm legendary. Uh, shout out to Ryan. He told me to do 40 days of fasting for um, for Jesus' salvation. And he's going to hook me up with a chain, mention the car. I'm ripping it. The owner ripping this, ripping dip, abducted. Also, shout out to Spanto. He knows who I am. He gave me the nickname Versace or Born and Raised Venice Trece Clay. Yep. Is Jesus, does he write graffiti too? I mean, Jesus started the 12th. Eminem admitted in his first album, The Infinite EP. Jesus started D12, Eminem's rap collective? As a ghost in the basement, yeah. Why? Movement. So everybody has faith when he comes back. It's not just some God trying to beat Jesus. It's really Jesus from the cross. Definitely. So do you think Jesus will come back before World War III begins? Jesus coming back on 80 Proof is a secret project. But once I've done 40 bars of 80 Proof to complete 80 Proof, Jesus won't be stranded on death row and will um, defeat White 2 J on the 99 um Juicy World 14 versus Tupac Big Sur Death Row. Definitely. Do you have any catchphrases? God will rise 21, forever 21. Um, Ripping Deep. Beamer Benson Bentley for Robbery Lambos was next on my Beamer Benson Bentley Machete Beef. Um, machete Beef? Yeah, it's that album where they said I caught Machete Beef with 14th and Antichrist. That makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah. RRP Scarface the Legend or Seven Letter FOK. Ah, there it is. Jesus and Nipsey gonna start World War Three on Death Row East, and Nipsey, Nipsey getting in Death Row. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for the interview. That was great. You kill it, man. You're a legend. Thank you.